We're back for another day of work. I've got my little man here with me today. He's going to help me take some measurements so that we can try to shore this uh, new foundation structure up. We have to make sure that this lines up well with our gatehouse over there and that it's square and that everything's level so that we can then start building upwards from here. Our gatehouse gave us a shed that we can put all of our tools in so we've looked after the practical side of this. And this structure over here is only going to be about 8 feet by 8 feet. So it's a pretty small structure. And I thought for fun we're going to do this up with some sandbags and things. And we're going to do this sort of like uh, an old western blockhouse. A blockhouse used to be a square home with another level on top of it that would be angled the opposite way. So that you had an overhang coming out from your angle here. You would have another angle coming out that way. Yeah. And they'd have gun slits all through it that you could face out and shoot different directions. Yeah, so you can see how big this is going to be by this right here, the log. Yeah. You can see it's a pretty small place. Yeah, it's pretty small. So by the time we get our sandbags in there and get everything set up, I think it's going to fill up most of the space. But uh, it's going to be just, like I say, a fun project for us to do and show you guys how to build. And so stick with us. We're going to do our measurements right now to show you guys how we square this thing up. And then we're going to start putting our rock in place because there's no sense of me setting this stone until I know that I have my log where I want it to be. And uh, so we'll do that. We'll get our foundation done and then we can start on the walls. Yep. Make sure to subscribe. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers. That's right. <laughs> our next goal is 500. Uh, and we really... We really appreciate everybody watching our videos. Uh, lately, we've been doing really good with it. And um, it's been a lot of work, a couple of years effort into our YouTube channel so far. We just wanted to thank everybody again for coming along with us on the journey and subscribing to the channel and watching our videos. We very much appreciate it. So let's get to it, Leo. We've got work yep. to do. Yeah, you hold the measuring tape there up against that log, and I'm going to pick it up and go over and see where it goes get your legs out of the way though <laughs> you can't take a measurement curving around your body no you gotta step over the thing totally yeah there you go there you go hold it tight against that log and here we're at 182 inches leo we've got to have the same measurement coming across both of these leo to make sure that this is lined up Man, you well. have a good measuring tape it's 25 feet so now we're at 182 why do we have to keep these because i gotta make sure these line up Hold that tight against there. You got it? Yep. Okay. And there's 182 and a half. Okay. So we now have our measurements coming from the gatehouse this way at 182 and a half inches. That would be, uh, let me see here, a little over 15 feet. And with the protrusion of this rock, we're losing maybe 12 inches here. So we've got about a uh, little over 14 foot gap for cars to pass through, coming past here. So that's okay. And now we know that this here log is lined up at the same angle as the logs over here on the gatehouse. This comes over here. And this is just for me to help judge if this log is in alignment with the gatehouse over there. And that looks... That looks about right. Okay. So I think what we'll do, Leo, is okay. we're going to get some wire and we'll wire down our first log here so that it won't move any further. With our measurement taken, we're going to go back to using our wire first. And we're just going to wire things together into place. This here's stuff is great for temporarily holding your logs together. want to do that because we're not notching things here. We're going to replicate the same build that we did over here on the gatehouse on a smaller scale because we still have to get our gatehouse logs fitted into this structure over here and so we need the gaps between our logs for these to come over and slide into. We took two measurements off of the building over here from there above that little grapevine we have planted and from over this side. I can't see my own finger here. Uh, from over this side right on that log and we came across and we measured over to this front log right here 
so that we can make sure that this log here lines up at the same angle as the gatehouse. So 78 and a half, uh, 78 and three quarter. Okay, come over this way. Do the same thing over on this corner. Right about the middle of the log. So come down a little bit. Right yep, there you go. And now we're at 78, almost, yeah, we're at 79 now. So we gotta just come back a quarter inch. Gotta move this log here back in a quarter inch. Move that in there. Slightly work we're gonna do that. This gotta be attempt number four probably now to try to get these two logs lined up. Yeah, I don't, I don't know even why we didn't so even we didn't even show all the attempts yet. We? No, we'll probably edit out some. We of showed the like two attempts. Okay, that's... seventy-eight and three quarter. Let's go back to the middle again, Leo. See what we have there. Right in the, drop it down about half an inch. There you go, right to the middle of the log. And how on earth do we have 79 and a quarter now over here? It's like it changes every time we go to do this. I don't know, maybe his measuring tape's not accurate. <laughs> well, it's marked the same for each measurement. 78 and, well there, now we're at 78 and three quarter, it says there. Okay. Come to the middle again. How in the hell was that middle measurement off? Oh, now th that measurement was off. Now the middle one just... Yeah, 78 and three quarter. I think we're good. Woo! Finally, finally after got four those attempts. Two. No, five. Now we're not done there. Huh? Now that those are lined up and that's lined up, we've got to line up this one here in the back, buddy. No. So don't touch any of the structure. No! As best you can. Yeah. I'm being defeated. Already, were you listening? No, I never listened to you. <laughs> I gather that. I just explained it a few minutes ago. Come on over, bud. You gotta hold the measuring tape here. Another measurement. Yeah, from there over. Now we're at. It's hard to get. 80 inches. Okay, let's go this way. We gotta try to get a similar measurement. That ends a lot fatter over here, though. And that too plays into it. So 79. I'm going to say right about there, Leo. Yeah, I want to say we got it there. Now, the hardest part, yeah. No. We have to get no. the diagonals to line up. No. Once the diagonals line up. <laughs> once the diagonals line up. We know our structure's square. We're going to wire it all together then, and then we may even spike it, and then we'll start our project from there. So, Leo, take this. Uh, oh, oh. I know it's painful. And that would give us 114 coming this way. All right, now go back to the other corner again. Bro. I know. I'm a perfectionist. Get this from my dad. Everything has to be perfect. Still getting 113 there. Something's out a tiny bit. We're just going to have to live with it, I think, buddy, with a couple inches Daddy, out. Daddy, you have to live with it. Please. Yeah, this isn't a science. Because we're dealing with really odd-shaped logs and can't be a hundred percent, but I want to get it as close as I can. And it seems like I'm a few inches out somehow. Oh no, a few inches, Daddy, that's going to make your life horrible. Sure feels like it. <laughs> you having fun working with your dad today? <laughs> Super fun. This is really frustrating me not being able to square this up because this log is the same width roughly across from this log. Uh, I think it was around 78 and three quarter, 79 inches. Same thing coming across from here to here. Those seem to line up. We're having trouble getting our diagonal measurement to line up to make sure that everything's square. And it might in part be due to this log having a funny twist here at the end. So I've taken my rope and lined it up along here to try to make that straight as if it were a straight log. Wait, you do rope for? You'll see right here, buddy. 
I want you to now hold this here as if that's the corner. 113. We might have done it. Come over to this corner again now. No. Over here, this is the measurement we kept getting, I think, was 113 from that corner. And stick it in there tight against that rope. You can't bend your measuring tape there, buddy. See how you got a big bend? Yeah, thank you. There you go. And we're at... Uh, what is it? 112, it says here. Oh. I'm going to have to live with it. We might be one inch out. And I mean, again, this isn't precise. Even where to hold the measuring tape is not precise. You're just kind of guesstimating. So if everything lines up this way, this way, from the gatehouse over and diagonally within an inch, I'm going to say we got it. Oh, my we're, God. We're now going to use our wire, and we're going to sort this thing up. Okay? It's still and, going. Uh, oh, my God. Once we have it all Show wired camera, together... We'll, we'll continue our project. Uh, I'm going to try to make 25 feet go go back into the measuring tape. I was just telling Leo, someday he's going to be over here on his own doing projects like this. How do we point the He's going to start listening to how to do it. He can figure this stuff out for himself. Right, so we're going to be doing this, starting to go get the 25 feet. When we do this, it's going to fit back into the measuring tape. Oh, it's still going. 25 feet, man. All right, three, two, one, go. Whoa! That was cool. Very cool. Um, Daddy, I think I broke the measuring tape. You might want to pick. Oh, you did. <laughs> Just trying to get my rock set here now that I had around to start building up the foundation and I've got a really sort of rounded rock here and that's the problem with using these on a foundation is that they're hard to get situated where they want to sit nice and stable if they don't have those flat sides on the top and bottom then they get difficult to use in place that one seems pretty good right there almost touching the log there. It would have been nice if it rubbed into the log and then it would be there for support as well. That's not too bad though. Okay. I'm getting this built up nicely here now and this last rock that's going in here looks like it's going to come right under the center of the log to support it which is great. If I can just shimmy this in the right way and I'll try to get as much surface area of this rock connecting the bottom of that log move my log. That looks like it right there. Now we've got the center of that beam supported. So I showed this a couple videos ago where I was taking stone from down here around my beaver dam off of the bank down there because it's nice flat sandstone something like that and I've been bringing it up here and uh, placing it all sort of like tile in along the uh, road here. And this is to make for a solid base for anything that drives over it. Over top of this, I'm going to now spread a little bit of crushed stone to cover it. And then if I uh, have the time, I'll go down to my pit and I'll get some clay. And I like to put a little bit of clay over top of the crushed stone because I find once it rains, that clay sinks in and it hardens and it holds everything together really, really well. So that's how... I go about building up my road where I have low areas. Just trying to use larger to smaller rock. If you just use crushed stone, you have to buy a lot more of it. And this stuff runs about uh, 20 to $30 a ton around here. And I try to buy as little as I have to.
it, and that makes a really nice finish over top of everything and covers up the stone that's there. I have one rock right here that looks like it's high, it's above grade. Right here under this rock is the mouth of my, I think it's called drain tile. You might be able to see that plastic hose down there. The mouth? That's a perforated plastic hose, and I have that running down here underneath the foundation of this to take any excess rain from the driveway. This seems to be a naturally a low point here in the driveway. My dad said that over there there were a lot of snakes. Yeah, where I'm pulling out this crushed stone, we came across a few tiny little snakes Yeah, there. I've seen a lot of snakes and um, crushed stone and little rocks. Yeah. So I have this rock here covering the mouth of this to keep anything from getting in there and try to keep it freed up. And then over top of that, I'm going to lay my crushed stone again. And then we've almost got this fixed up here. It's going to Make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, so just show the gatehouse over here, Leo. This is our first gatehouse we built. Here's our logs that are coming across the driveway. This is now set up really nice. That when I pull that over here, it's going to hook into the frame. So, what here. about the top log? Will that pull over? Yeah, but we have to build our frame up a couple, like a log this way, log that way, and then we might, on this log, that one might come over and sit on it. So I would say we have two to go that way, two to go this way, and then our top log. But uh, this is nice and level here. Okay, everything in our structure is level. It's squared off. It's lined up well with the gatehouse. We're ready to rock. Hey, puppy. Okay, so... Thanks again guys for watching. Uh, we know that our channel has pretty low production values. <laughs> There's times where my head gets cut off in the shot. There's times where I've got my camera sitting on my wheelbarrow propped up trying to get the angle for, you know, a shot. Um, you know, it's a lot easier when I have my little guy here helping out. He's, he helps me out tremendously. Yeah, with, but I, I'm not always here. Yeah, he's not always here to do it with me, so it is very difficult. And we don't have fancy intros, there's no music, there's, <laughs> this is bare bones what you get from us. But what you do All see... All we have is basically the pause button and maybe we just, we just, we just started a few, maybe a, a, a few weeks ago we started an editing program, maybe a month ago or two. Yeah, so I can do some simple editing uh, now, but we're pretty low tech around here. What you guys do get though is to see the actual work that goes into these projects and learn how to do it. That's why I'm filming these in stages and really trying to break it down for you guys. I'm hoping you guys appreciate that, that we're not just talking through things on our channel, that we actually put the time and work into it and show you guys how to do it. And make so. sure to use the zombie sword to defeat the zombies. Um, <laughs> if, one if a zombie apocalypse happens, <laughs> use the zombie defeater sword. Or use our gatehouse <laughs> that we're going to design. So I hope you guys follow this project along and it's enjoy a, it. This is going to be a fun one. It's the zombie, zombie defeating sword. True.